All right, hi everybody. I'm just going to do a quick, uh, well, I don't know if it's quick, it might be a bit longer, a snippet Saturday, I'm going to call it, because today's Saturday and I'm doing a snippet. It makes sense, doesn't it? Um, I just uploaded a little, very short little video. Um, I decided to change the name. I've been thinking about it for a little while. And I changed the name because I felt like I was doing a whole lot of different things than what the um, my heading was saying, but I'm still creating. So I've just called it Christina Creates. That, that, that's what I'm doing. It doesn't matter whether I'm sewing, painting, playing with paper, whatever. Uh, so I have started a larger snippet roll. I think I'm working the opposite way. I th thought this was going to be the start, but it's more like the end. And I'm left-handed, so it's going to actually probably roll the opposite the opposite way. It'll roll that way, and that'll be the end. So I've been working backwards. Can't do it. Can't do anything uh, normal. But that, this is how far I've got. And um, I've just put some pieces down to start sewing. Um, the other thing I got... I don't know, I don't want it to be too loud. Um, uh, I, I went over to a lady's house who had on the Facebook marketplace a whole heap of just really old vintage and antique stuff. So I've got it's a whole paper bag. But the reason that I went and picked it up was because she had all these old wooden spools and lots of them. None, none really big like for this, but look at that, that's gorgeous. And I think what I'm going to do is a little series of very tiny little snippet rolls on these wooden ones. But while I was waiting to pick them up, I got started on a big one. As you do. <laughs> As you do. And I thought when I started this, someone, I, I did post a little picture on Instagram and someone said it looked like snow because it's actually a very, very thick lace, this one. Um, so I thought, yeah, that's that's true. It does. Then, But then I went um, a bit gothic. <laughs> then I had to put black buttons. Uh, so I'm not going to devalue it because it's, it, you know, I, I sometimes think I... I don't devalue my work, but I sometimes think that I make a bit bit of light-heartedness about it. But in actual fact, it is the creative process, so it really doesn't matter if that's like that and that's like that, and they don't really go because there's been a variety and a growth, a, a growth spurt, as it were, through it. Anyway, um, Snippet Saturday. How's that? Now I might have to make two videos a week. I've been a bit slack. But you know what? Sometimes, sometimes you actually just do need that little bit of space. I mean, obviously Lily was here. And you need that little bit of space to just see who you are today. Because we do change. I don't want to stay stuck being whatever it was that worked last month or ten years ago. That, that's not, that doesn't work for me. Uh, it's all about growth. Oh. Not necessarily always having to change everything about everything that you do. It just even it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter your age. You still are on a journey of creativity and finding out what you're doing, who you are what works, what doesn't work. And so I've been doing a mega clean up of the craft room and, you know, just when you've got so many bits of paper and so many um, bits of card and stuff, you, you know, you just don't, you don't need that much. So I've culled quite a bit of that, but I'm still going and I'm still organizing. And I know that I still don't like where my computer is and I still don't really like this spot here. I mean, I, probably in the shade, show, making shade again. I'm not happy about that. So um, I definitely want to change up the room once I've got everything sorted. So that's what's happening here. 
Um, Lily's only got, what's she got left now? She's only got um, her bike and two plants and a couple of musical instruments left over here. So she'll either do them, maybe, it started to rain here. We've had uh, 35 degree heat days, so yesterday um, she took over, I took over, um, what did I take over? I took something over. But she was so hot in her little place because she's got no air conditioning that she was actually a bit gaga. She was a bit like dehydrated. So I ended up saying to her, well, why don't we just, because we both write things. We both write um, novels that never get published. But, you know, we've got a few, both of us have got a few on the go, even though we know nothing about uh, writing. So we decided we, I said to her, let's, Let's go to the supermarket, or the, to the shopping centre, and just sit and edit our work in the cool. So we thought, we'll go and we'll go to Starbucks and we'll uh, edit. But Starbucks, of course, in shopping centres, didn't have its cafe seats out because of COVID. So we had to just get takeaway and um, takeaway, takeaway coffee, iced coffee, of course, because, wow. Well, I'll tell you what, 30, 35 degrees here is, it's very hot, steamy in fact. So we sat there and um, so we're, we're quite close, Lily and I, we are pretty good friends. Um, we sat there edit, writing a bit, editing a bit, and um, you know, when you've got a grown up child that, you, you, that you're pretty good friends with, it's quite easy to fall into this same, same kind of patterning uh, of this is how we do it, this is what we do, this is who we are, we don't change. But we, we really um, hit a new spot yesterday, which was wonderful. Because, where's my scissors? There they are. Because all of a sudden we're editing and writing, and our whole discussion for the first time ever, we've never had these discussions before. Probably it's happened since she's gone to uni, so she thinks a little bit more about it. Um, how to write. We're just discussing what word would work there. Would that work? You know, is that a good word? <laughs> It's just a whole new thing, which is pretty kind of exciting, really. Um, and yeah, and we ended up sitting there laughing our heads off about, you know, a stupid sentence we wrote. But we also shared with each other when we thought we'd written a really, you know, a poetic sentence or a good sentence. And that was really good. We ended up, yeah, we were just laughing our heads off. Can't see. Right, I'm going to turn this light on. Sorry, the camera's going to wobble a bit. There, how's that? That's better. Right. Um, I'd written a really good sentence. I thought it was a good sentence. I can't remember what it was my little books somewhere else but I was like listen to this sentence so I don't know what everyone around us was thinking probably looked weird this middle-aged lady with this young girl sitting there laughing their heads off <laughs> did we care no we did not <laughs> We did not care. We were just having the best fun ever. And after all the moving and being cluttered here with her in this room, and it was like, you know, it was like a spring rain. It was just lovely. It was just so nice and relaxing and peaceful. Now, I can't say I'm doing anything fancy here. I'm just kind of sewing it down. Better do something fancy. Let me 
practice because Tag Tuesday next week and it's got bullion knots and I haven't done any of them for a little while so let me there no not there I know I'm gonna do one on the side here so friendship comes in all forms doesn't it whether it's with your kids I mean lots of people look at my People her age look at our relationship. Of course, I've got another daughter. Um, we don't necessarily have a... That's, it's not the same relationship. But people look at our relationship and go, how, how do you have such a relationship with your mum? Like, you know, people her age just go, oh, my goodness, my parents aren't my friends. They're just there to discipline me. And... They just don't understand. Give it a little wiggle. Not know. Something's gotten stuck that end. Oh, I hate it when the bullion knot goes incredibly wrong. You know you did it right, but for some reason it's just gone terribly wrong. Why did it why did that happen? I know I've done them before. I know I know how to do it. Okay, folks, don't do what I do. As I've said before, I just have no idea how that messed up so much. Okay, I'm going to give it a go here where it's uncluttered. I, was, I did try it before, but I edited it out. Um, I think that this material was making it all fluffy and getting it caught. So, one, come up there, move it round, so we actually, yep, let's go that way because it's easier for me. Wiggle it through. Probably could have done it a little bit longer, but uh, that's okay. There we are. Yeah, I think I could have done it a little bit, a few more stitches because it looks like there's just a little blank bit there um also i think i think i would probably like it thicker all right so i'm just going to get this stitch down a bit more Just casting off and let's have a little look. Needle back so I don't lose it. Alright. So one of the things about these laces is I think I might be just better off getting a, a neutral colour, really, and just tacking them down, I think. doesn't have to be like anything you can see too much standing out. So 
So today, um, after all that heat, it's supposed to have a bit of a respite today for the, you know, there's been a little bit of rain, so it's been a bit cooler. And then it's going to uh, get hot again a couple of days this week, in the th late 30s again, mid 30s roughly. And yeah, I don't know. It's weird. It's like it's the end of our summer, like it's autumn in two weeks or even one week, one a week and a half maybe. And it's like, oh, now you decide to have summer. Like, <laughs> it didn't, like, it didn't, we didn't feel like we had a summer. It was like Christmas, come out of COVID lockdown, have Christmas. January can do things again, but we're all still like stunned mullets after COVID lockdown for four months. Uh, and then that was it. That was it. So I, I don't know what happened to January and Christmas. So for all the people in the world who are in COVID lockdown now, um, I, you know, I didn't find it so hard in winter because you tend to hibernate a little bit anyway, don't you? You just go in and cuddle up with the good book. So now we're, um, we did a five day lockdown this week because there were a few cases of the, uh, the new strain that had escaped. They'd escaped. Everyone blamed Tennis Australia and nebulizers. There was always someone to blame, isn't there? And so we came out of lockdown because there were no new cases after five days we had a double zero so we were all relieved to go back to normal except my flatmate of course who is still having to isolate after having a test but she's working from home so she's okay all right let's get this bit down Okay, just a straight stitch along there, I think. Oh, there we go, we can get, get in. So thanks for all the new subscribers too. It's lovely to have people commenting and saying hi, how are you going, and um, just enjoying even you know just being inspired if it if my videos inspire you great <laughs> that's good all right so i was watching um i love tamara laporte laporte um i was watching tamara doing a video and she had she said just coming on to have a natter and I went oh yeah I know that word because I'm I was born in London British so I know that word but she was saying I wonder if people around the world what do you say but I I'd say natter um, because I was brought up with parents who are English so they would have just my mum would have used that word um, but I wonder, I'll put Tamara's link below, you can comment on hers if you like, uh, but also if you want to, just comment what you, if you were going to be just having a chat, do you call it a natter? I said, I said to Tamara that maybe in Australia we call it a chin wag, <laughs> so I don't know, what do you call it? I call it waffling sometimes when I'm doing it. <laughs> Bit of a waffle. Ah, oh, waffles. Ah, oh, squirrel. I just thought about food. Oh, how nice. Um, waffles would be good, wouldn't they? How did my brain go there? Oh my goodness. I just, sometimes I don't even, 
I don't even with myself. Anyway, that's been a good old natter. Here we go. Right, so we've got some of these down, which is good. This um, this was from a big, um, like a table runner, which I cut up into because it was all like lots of little squares joined together. So I thought they can be unjoined and they can go in here. And I've used this before. This is an edge of a little set of four sort of doilies for cups to sit on. And then um, this bit, I really love this. Um, this is like, a, oh, sorry about that. I knocked my table. Um, this bit is from like an upholstery shop. It's I got from the second hand or the, you know, the opportunity shop as we call them in Australia, op shop. Um, this off cuts of a material, you know, fabric. So it's been used on sofas and cushions and stuff. stitch here oh lovely wibbly wobbly lines yeah so Tamara also was talking about um, I love watching Tamara she's does some lovely mixed media work um, but she had I don't know if it was that video or if I just watched another one of her videos just talking about how um, we're here you know we're here for the journey not not always I mean it's nice when you make a beautiful bit of art but or sewing or tapestry or whatever but we're also here to just explore and to see who we are and to find out as we go without any judgment about what we're doing and I really I liked hearing that today just going to do lots of little kind of stitches along here different stitches to tack it down Oh, and yeah, and well, so Tamara's also got, I don't know if anyone's interested, but a sort of a, it's like a whole one year kind of program life book where they do some exploring as well. Anyway, I'll put Tamara's um, thing down below in the box and you can go and have a look at what she's doing. Alright, so I am now going to go and finish another video that I need to finish, but I can't upload it till, obviously, till I've given the present to my friend, or I'll spoil the surprise if she watches the channel, but I'm going to go and finish that video, because it's been sitting in my ready-to-be-finished box for quite a while. And there you go, and I'll come back... Um, Maybe next Saturday with a bit more of this. See how we go. Alright, thanks for watching. And uh, I'll speak to you soon. Bye for now.